in this problem, this is a probability here that you lose. It's not always the case, but it's because of what I gave you, this scenario. So you can deduce this probability provided you know those basic tools, the small tools, the complement rule, and what to do to select more than one item. You know, I made the claim that you can do all, you can learn everything that you, everything you ever want to know about probability, you can learn from a bag of marbles. From a bag of marbles. Okay? So that you can even learn about expected value and gambling from this bag of marbles. This is the probability you win, this is the probability you lose. Okay? So what happens now? You guys remember? In the process. What happens now in the process? Mm. How do you apply this product? Yeah, we're going to multiply, right? You got P of X, you have X. And you look at this and you go, what's win times 0.225? What's lose times 0.775? You see a problem with that? What do you have to do? You associate a value with winning and associate a value with losing. What value do you associate with winning? Is it $25? Is it 2 minus 2? What is it? What is it, Josette? It's 23Y. Cost $2 to play, meaning you're really getting how much? 23 bucks. How much are you losing? So now what you do is the hard work, the hard work is done. This is all the hard part. So now this is x times that p of x, which is going to be 23 times 0.225. And then you're going to have a minus 2 times 0.775. Whatever those values are, what do you do with these values? You add them up. So meaning that expected value mu, I can say is 23 times 0.225 minus 2 times 0.775. And what do you get as an answer? What's mu? What is the expected value? 3.63. And is that positive or is that negative? It's a positive value. So here's the deal again, right? You create the marble game, the at least one blue marble. Okay, you create this game, right? At home or in your casino. And you think, oh, it's gonna cost this much money, it's gonna pay out this much money. All I have is these marbles. Is that a good game for the casino or a bad game? Why is it a bad game for the casino? Expected value. Expected value is positive, meaning everybody that comes in, they get what? They're saying, here's your $3.63. Here's your $3.63. The casino gives everybody $3.63 who plays on average. They're not making any money. So you, you do have to know the difference between a positive expected value and a negative expected value and what that means. I mean, this is... This is, you know, this, is, this is information for you, okay? If you are um, a casino, you want this always to be negative because that's why, you're, that's why you create the game or the raffle or the life insurance. That's why, that's why it exists, okay? Okay, you guys okay with this? Okay, good. Look at the second question. Was the second question hard? Hmm? How hard was the second question? Having two what? Children. Mm. How do you determine the probability of having no girls, one girl, or two girls? What's one way you could do this? Huh? What's the list of outcomes? What's your list of all possible outcomes? Boy, boy. Boy, girl. Girl, boy. And girl, girl. Mm. 
Okay? Is that right? First question. What's the probability you have no girls? This is a no girl question. What's that probability? One over four? Okay, good. Next question. What's the probability you have one girl? Two over four, which is? Okay. And then the probability you have two what? Girls. What's that? One over four. Is that true? All right. What if we did two girls, we also did what? Three girls. I'm sorry, two children, three children, right? What if I ask you, what's the probability of having five children? Right? And when you get, now the setting is this. Let's, let's look at this. Let's look at five children. You guys don't want, want to have five children? Who wants to have children? How many do you want to have? Woo. Anybody else want to have kids? How many do you want to have? How many? One? <laughs> it's going to be a lonely child, huh? Everybody wants, yeah. everybody else wants like, a lot of kids, but the reality is it's harder than it seems to raise a child. It is. Rationally, it's easier now. One. I want him to be sane. Huh? <laughs> I want him to be sane. You, you want him? <laughs> um, who wants it? Who else wants kids? Who wants to have the most? How many kids do you want? Two. Anyone want to have more than uh, four? Anyone want to have more than Yowzi? How many do you want to have? Five. Why five? Basketball team? Oh, really? Mm. Who wants to have more than five? Anybody want to have more than five? Nobody wants more than five kids? Well, okay. I guess we'll stick with the five example. Five children. What do you want to have of those five children? You want to have boys? You want to have girls? What do you want to have? Boys are, it doesn't matter. Always a boy, why a boy first? The older brother to, uh, to fight off what? All the bullies? They're all older? So, oh, you're the only girl of the four? Mm -hmm. oh. Did the brothers ever fight? Yeah? Mm. Older brother? Yeah. With the oldest. Did the oldest always pick on all the others? Really? Sometimes that happens. It happens sometimes. Right, Eddie? Were you the, you were the younger brother, right? Oldest. Oh, you're the oldest. Oh. Did you ever pick on your younger brother, Eddie? Oh, Eddie. You know, I was the oldest, and I got to say, I've never picked on my younger brother. He, he's, nobody ever believes. You guys think I'm all, you, you guys make me feel bad all the time. You guys never believe anything. The one time I picked on him, I felt so bad. I really felt horrible. I never did it again. Yeah, well, not in that way. I actually didn't. I never physically picked on the kid. Never did it. Never. But the one time I was mean to him, 